Hello my little willies! In this tutorial you will learn to knead newborn baby booties, a great project for beginners knitted with straight needles. Easy and quick to knit. For this project you will need 40 grams of cotton yarn or merino wool number one or fingering and 3.5 millimeters knitting needles US4. Please don't forget to check your gauge 23 stitches and 40 rows in garter stitch equals 10 centimeters or 4 inches. And remember, you have the written instructions on my website, sewwoolly.net. You will find the link below this video on the description box. First of all, we need to cast on 23 stitches. First row, knit every stitch. And don't forget to knit the last one only on this row through the back loop so we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, to shape the toe we will do some increases. So knit 11, this is the right side of the work, you have the yarn coming from the cast on on the left side. And now make one right. Take the horizontal bar between these two stitches and place it on your left hand needle from front to back. And now knit one stitch. Knit one and now we will do another increase. Take the bar again and place it from back to front and knit that stitch through the back loop. We have increased two stitches and now knit 11. Third row Net one, make one right again, place the horizontal bar from front to back and net one stitch. And now knit every stitch to last stitch. Make one left, place the horizontal bar from back to front and knit that stitch through the back loop and knit the last one. Fourth row, knit every stitch. Fifth row, knit 12. Make one right again. Knit three. Make one left, and knit 12. Sixth row, knit one, make one right,
knit to last stitch make one left and knit the last one seventh row knit every stitch eighth row knit 13 make one right now knit five make one left and knit 13. Now we're going to knit nine rows in garter stitch. That means knit every stitch of the next nine rows. It's time to shape the forefoot. First row, knit 19 Knit two together, slip the next stitch, bring the yarn forward and turn the work. Second row, slip the first stitch as if to purl, knit six, knit two together, Slip one, as if to purl again. Bring the yarn forward and turn the work. This last row, the second we made, needs to be repeated eight more times. And I'm going to show it again. So after this row, you have to do it seven more times. So slip the first stitch as if to purl, knit six, knit two together, slip one stitch as if to purl and bring the jar forward. Now turn the work. Remember, you have to do this second row now seven more times. Okay, we're getting there. So now we have to slip the first stitch as if to purl and knit every stitch until the end of the row. And on this row, we are just knitting every stitch. On the following row, we're going to make some increases. So, start with knit three. Make one right. Knit 
match 3. Make one right. Net eleven. Make one left. Net three. Make one left, net three. And now, net six grows more in garter stitch. To knit the cuff, we're going to do ten rows in one by one drip stitch. First and every other row, knit one, pour one, and repeat. Knit one, pour one, and keep doing this until the end of the row, ending with knit one. Second and every even row is just the opposite as we did on the first row. Pour one, knit one. When you see the V, you have to knit. When you see the bump, you have to pour. So, knit one, pour one, until the end of the row. After the 10 rows in one by one drip stitch, we are going to Knit the first stitch, front and back. And keep knitting in pattern. That means pour one, knit one, and repeat. Pour one, knit one, two, last stitch. And repeat. Knit front and back. We have increased two stitches. Now knit three rows more in one by one drip. Fifteenth row. On this row we have to increase two more stitches. So, because the first stitch is a purl, purl it, take it off and put it again on the needle and purl again. And repeat, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, to the end. And when there is one stitch left, we will do it again. Purl one, take it off and place it again, and purl again. If it's too complicated for you, just do knit front and back. But that's a nice way to keep the pattern. Continue in one by one rib until 24 rows are completed. Okay, this is row 25 of the one by one rib, and we're going to bind off. So, knit one, pour one, and pass the stitch over. Knit one, pass the stitch over. Pour one, pass the stitch over. It's important to bind off loosely. Cut the yarn and pull it through the last loop. Now you can join both sides, starting from the heel to the cuff and then join the sole. And that's it. I hope you loved this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!